The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. Jess stared out the window at the ice beating down. Every holiday planned for the weekend had been canceled. And to top it off, the school had just released Jess's most recent grades. A D in language arts? What happened, Jess? I don't know. You're such a good storyteller. I just, I can't make all the words work out when I try to write it down. Can I go play Mindstorm? Hun, you need to read for an hour first. An hour? I thought it was 30 minutes. Your teacher and I talked. We think a little more reading time will help. Jess glared. I don't have anything to read. You've got an entire bookshelf in your room. Those are little kid books. Then look at Emma's bookshelf. Emma was Jess's older sister, already in high school. Fine, whatever. Jess stalked upstairs to Emma's room, peeked inside. The room was empty, but everything was neatly organized. Emma had even done all of the colorful artwork on her own walls. Miss Perfect. Jess sighed. Everything seemed to come easily to Emma. Writing, math, friends, life. I'll probably be stuck in fifth grade for the rest of my life. Jess stood in front of Emma's bookshelf, running her finger over the thick spines. At last, a swirl of color on the bottom shelf caught her eye. Comic book Bible. Huh. Jess thumped down onto the floor and pulled the book off the shelf. She flipped it open, and color exploded off the page. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The images of creation were vivid and detailed, as if she were right there. Huh, pretty cool. Jess found herself drawn into the familiar stories, seeing and hearing them in a brand new way. Moses and the Red Sea, the fall of Jericho, David and Goliath. Esther, boldly approaching the king. <clears throat> David's incredible poetry in the Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. After the Psalms, though, Jess paged into unfamiliar territory. Isn't Daniel in the lion's den around here somewhere? Who's this guy? Jess stared at a man with a long white beard, using a quill to scribble on a scroll. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father Who Lives Forever and Prince Who Brings Peace. Hey! Jess nearly dropped the book. She glanced up to see Emma standing in the doorway. What are you doing in my room? Mom said I could pick a book. Well, ask next time, okay? I didn't touch anything. Okay, okay, it's fine. Emma settled down on the floor beside Jess and took a look at the book. Aunt Chris gave me this book when I started high school. It's pretty cool. I mean, until this part. It's kind of hard to make a guy writing a letter exciting. Jess pointed out Mr. Whitebeard. Oh, you mean Isaiah? Who's he talking about? Jesus? Yeah, but it's way more amazing when you look at the big picture. You see, God's people were in big trouble. Over and over, the Israelites promised to love and obey God. And then every single time, they turned their backs on Him. Turned their backs? Like how? Well, they'd start praying to false gods like other nations around them, trying to do things their own way. So God allowed them to be captured by other nations. Emma flipped back, showing images of battles, powerful foreign kings, groups of captives. The Israelites got in really big trouble. Things looked hopeless. So God just ditched them? No way. Every single time, God showed He was still with them. 
He sent kings who loved God like David and Solomon and Josiah. And he sent prophets like Elijah and Isaiah to speak God's truth and hope to the people. Even though they totally messed up. Yep. Through it all, God promised that he was going to send someone who would rescue them forever. Just flipped back to Isaiah and read slowly. A child will be born to us, a son will be given to us. He will rule over us. That's only one prophecy. There are hundreds of prophecies in the Old Testament that talk about Jesus coming. Just nodded, trying to take it in. That's a lot of promises. And God came through. The Israelites had to wait a long time, but God kept every single one of those promises when He sent Jesus to live on earth. His very own son. Oh, little town of Bethlehem and all that. You can take the book if you want. Emma tapped the comic book Bible and just smiled. Does God promise that I'll get a better grade in language arts? <laughs> no, but he does promise to be with you and give you the patience and courage you need to keep working on it. They both listened to the ice rattling against the window. Hey, you want to play Mindstorm? Sure. Just let me read a little more first. Emma gave a thumbs up and Jess settled back down to keep reading. She paged forward to the book of Luke, eager to see for herself again how God had delivered on his promise to send a savior.